Snap, Crackle, Pop. Anderson Silva suffers another leg injury at UFC Fight Night 84. But, you know, Anderson thought, thought he snapped his leg again. One of the screws uh, dislodged, but that's not what happened. Enter the arena uncut with the Don Juan Banks on the line live from South Korea. Showing his face today, Tommy Razorstein. And What's we're up, gonna, Don? what is going on? I know you once you saw that article, you 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 had to come live with your face. We're gonna go through it real quickly. Anderson Silva suffers leg injury at UFC Fight Night 84 from low kick MMA. And it goes, it's in, and this is what it reports. We all saw the war between former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva and Michael Bisping in the main event of UFC Fight Night 84 this past Saturday night in London. However, we learned some things on Monday that we didn't know when the fight was happening. In fact, Silva believed that he cracked his surgically repaired leg and moved a screw in his leg in the first round when he threw a leg kick. Of course, Silva underwent leg surgery after breaking it in a rematch with Chris Weidman at UFC 168. It is an indelible moment that we cannot get out of our minds. Silva coach Luis Doria commented on the injury in an interview with MMAfighting.com. He felt a kick he landed in the first round, thought he cracked his leg and moved a screw. That limited his movements, made him stop attacking for a moment. I asked him to attack, but he said, Professor, I'm feeling it. I have no confidence. I said, use your heart. You're Anderson Silva. Go after him. That slowed him down a bit. This being attacked more, but less effectively. Anderson was more effective. I hope the commission reviews this result because this is bad for the sport. Even Dana White saw that way. Everybody knows who won the fight. Silva did suffer a leg injury, but luckily, listen to this, fans. Luckily, Silva is fine. So he did suffer a leg injury. So don't give me that bullshit set telling me that the title is wrong. No, this is the right title. It's a fact. Facts are facts. This is logical. He underwent exams after the fight and will avoid surgery. Silva did some exams after the fight. He suffered an injury, but the screw didn't move. He added, I don't know how bad the injury was, but I knew the screw didn't move and he won't need surgery. He was in pain in the locker room, but he won't need surgery. He was in pain. He couldn't even put his shoes on, but he's fine now. Silva is now setting his sights on a return rematch to Brazil at UFC 198. Silva said he wants to fight, said the coach. He will take two or three off to rest, two or three weeks off to rest and come back. Anderson wants to fight in Brazil. I believe he will be ready to train again in two to three weeks and then fight again in two or three months. That also shows who won the fight. Anderson can fight in two months. Can Bisbing do the same after that beating? Silva has already said he is interested in a rematch with Bisbing and wants to fight as soon as possible. So the screw did not move. Anderson believed he knocked Bisbing out. He feels that he was robbed. Tommy Razorstein, what's your opinion? Uh, I think that you know, Anderson Silva is having a hard time trying to uh, adjust back after the surgery. And it's starting to really mess with his mind. You know what I mean? I just imagine just throwing a leg kick and thinking that your leg's going to break again. I mean, that's always in the back of his mind. And he's really showing a weakness right now. This is a weakness in his mental game plan right now. You can see a flaw in Anderson Silva's psyche. So if someone like, you know, Conor McGregor were to, you know, antagonize him and then talk shit about you, you're weak-minded, and you're, you think your legs are going to break the whole entire time, and you don't have enough to you know, maintain and stay in the sport, and the sport's only for killers, and you don't you know, and, and cry and complain. Now, Ronda Rousey just cried and complained, and, oh, man. Yes. That's a different story. Anyway, what I'm saying is this. You can't show weakness in the game. You can't do it. 
this game kill you, man. This game that these guys play, you can't go and say, you know, I think Mike's broken. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm not in the, in the same condition as it was before. You can't show any weakness. You're a cage fighter. This is a big mistake by Anderson Silva. Huge mistake. Well, Tommy Razorstein, you know, the reports are all over social media. That's why you came here. The screw, he thought the screw moved, but the screw didn't move. He was in significant pain. He felt he knocked him out. He felt he won the fight. I did a video on this earlier. And uh, basically, Herb Dean said that Anderson uh, connected with the knee. He did not feel that he had to step in to stop the action, to put the mouthpiece back in. Silver saw that. He used that as an opportunity. But when uh, Bisbing fell to the ground, he saw that Bisbing was still conscious. And Silva ran and jumped up top the cage. And he said, I knew in my heart I didn't stop the fight, so I wasn't worried. He said, that's Anderson Silva's fault. It's not my fault. Hmm. So we yeah, got all this true. controversy. And Silva says that the UFC total corruption, um, Silva's test tested positive for steroids. Uh, Silva held uh, Chelsea's trunk. Silva, Silva bows, he hugs, but he's not from a bowing culture. Silva is not a perfect man. So how can he dare claim corruption when he's done things of corruption? Greatest fighter of all time with an asterisk next to it. 16 uh, fight uh, consecutive title defenses, 2000. Uh, 454 days. Well, you know what I'm saying right now, Tommy Razorstein? He ain't a perfect man. He is not a perfect man. And to, 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 to say that, you know, this is corruption and this is that, but when things go silver way, oh, it's, it's great. It's fine, you know, but when it doesn't go his way, he should have been more aggressive. There's no excuse for that. If you, you don't turn your back until you know that that man is out. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. If he's the greatest, exactly. you expect him to know that? Exactly. And this is Michael Bisbing. I mean, Michael Bisbing isn't ranked. Now, now he will be. He'll be higher ranked. But if he took on the top three, best in the weight class. So this really shows that, you know, Anderson Silva's stock is going to drop and drop and fast. He has a lot of fights on that contract that he signed. He only fought so, two fights. Uh, Ray Stein, I'll tell you. He only fought two fights out of the 15. Yeah. So he has 13 more fights. Do you think he so, should just be released? Um, he'll keep fighting. I don't think he'll do 13, but he'll keep fighting. And he'll run himself into the ground. This is a bad move on part, sign that contract for a 15-fight contract. That was a bad move. Now, I don't think he knew his leg was going to snap like that. <clears throat> and he's going to continue being a, the greatest and just taunt people and talk shit to people and hug people around and then bow and be disrespectful and then talk shit and then run around and act like an asshole. I can't stand him. I mean, he's a complete asshole. I don't like him. I don't like John Jones. But at least Jones, when he's in the cage, he brings it, dude. I mean, I don't like Jones out of the cage. I don't like Jones' eye, eye poking either and his, his fucking, you know, kick to the ground. Too. But Anderson Silva's taunts I have no love for the guy anymore. I thought he was a decent guy at one point. I was like, you know what? All his fake bowing and his hot between rounds and then taunting and then just constantly trying to mess with you, I don't have any love for the guy at all. And you know what? He's going to run himself to the ground. And this is a huge flaw and it's still a psyche right now. Tell me where Because every fighter has an injury that they're afraid of. Oh, man. But now... Anderson Silva's really talking about an injury that he's afraid of. Every fighter has an injury. Yes. I you know. my car, riding my bike when I was younger. I didn't think I'd return to wrestling, but I did. And, like, 
you know, always kind of mess with your back of your mind, like, oh man, I would be the same and all that stuff. But you can't tech, you can't say it. You don't say it. Because then you're weakness. And if something's weak, someone's gonna attack it. Do you wanna go on Ellen and cry like Rhonda did? Oh god, suicide. Ah. Suicide. Ah. I know that's what you said. Razor sign. I've been saying that for a long time. But I god don't... damn it, she went on out and cried. You don't do that, man. You don't show weakness. It's the same thing. Anderson Silva is showing weakness. And you can't do that, man. Anderson oh, I'm so aggravated with Ronnie. Anderson Silva, uh, listen, I tried to clarify things. I don't hate Anderson. Actually, I like Anderson, although I believe he shot steroids up his asshole. But the thing about this is this, and I have to put an asterisk and that's to his greatest of all time because we don't know how long he cheated. He said that he used sexual, sexual um, and, and enhancement drugs. Come on. All right. Ray Charles can see through that. But the thing about it is, um, Razor Stein, the people got it wrong. They think, like, I'm coming on here and I'm saying Anderson got robbed. What I'm saying is the same thing that you said. I can understand if Anderson feels that he got robbed. I can understand if people felt that Anderson won the fight. But I am clearly, unequivocally stating right now, these are my words. I believe that Michael Bisbing won the fight. I don't know how many times I got to say that. I believe that Bisbee won the fight. He won it. Anderson's fighting him in his Same backyard. One. Now Anderson says he wants to fight. He wants Bisbee to fight him in his backyard. I think Anderson should go back to London O2 Arena and beat him if he believes he can do it. You have to be a if you want to win the fight. Yes. And if it's a, you know, a real close decision, lean towards the aggressor. I'll tally up all the um, – fight but I'm going with the aggressor I have to I like when someone's moving forward can't stand it when someone's back for an easy way to find a, a shot or a takedown drives me nuts move forward be the aggressor <laughs> for Tommy Razor Stein going Razor Stein live he is back, the best MMA analyst on YouTube today for the Don Juan Banks. Peace out. Peace out.